Recently, I had the opportunity to be working out in my yard, and as part of that yard work on a beautiful autumn afternoon, I decided to trim up my trees. It reminded me of this experience I had 15 years ago working in landscaping, of the concept of raising up a tree. Now, it's not literally picking up a tree and making it taller, but it's the act of intentionally and methodically trimming off the branches. And in some senses, it makes the tree maybe look like it's a little bit taller by getting rid of the lower branches. But in essence, what we're doing is we're trying to raise up the strength and the integrity of the tree to help it to be stronger in the wind and in the storm, but also to produce more fruit if it's a fruit-bearing tree. And as I was trimming up the trees and raising them up this weekend, it reminded me of my, myself, my relationships, my leadership. And it made me think about this concept of, of raising up, of how important it is for us to trim. And I wanted to share three different categories uh, of trimming that maybe we need to think about as people, uh, as uh, leaders. And number one is, again, it's just looking inside, looking at myself. What are the areas where maybe I need to trim, where maybe I could raise up? I think about my behaviors. Are there ways that I'm behaving, ways I'm relating to others that maybe aren't healthy, that could use a trim? Things I should stop doing or stop saying, or maybe even stop believing about myself or about others? What about activities in my routine, in my daily life that are weakening me as a person, that aren't allowing me to produce the absolute best fruit that I can as a person. Maybe I should trim those. Maybe getting rid of those things would actually help to raise me up as a person. Then I thought about number two, relationally. In my relationships that I'm keeping, are there toxic relationships, the way people relate to me, that perhaps are not helpful to my strength as a person, that don't help me to bear fruit? Maybe I should trim those and raise myself up by those relationships. And number three, I thought about leadership for myself and my own leadership. Uh, for you, if you're leading an organization or a company or a team, you have people reporting to you. I think about trimming those, uh, those activities that we do, trimming the behaviors that we support in our organization. Are there, are there things that I'm doing as a leader that I shouldn't be doing that maybe I could delegate to someone else to free me up to focus on the higher level things? Are, they behave, are there behaviors that I have as a leader that maybe I should stop that aren't actually helping my team produce fruit? Maybe are hindering them from being the strongest that they could be. How about in my team itself? Are there things that, that we're doing that we said yes to that maybe we shouldn't be doing? Are there behaviors that we have as an organization that aren't helpful to producing fruit in those around us and, and producing fruit for our company? And I think the last aspect of this leadership concept of raising up is perhaps the most difficult. And it really comes to me from Jim Collins' book, Good to Great, when he speaks about the importance of having the right people on the right seats on the bus, thinking about your organization as the bus. It's not just about having the right people on your team. It's getting those people doing the right things in your organization or in your team. But there's an aspect of having the wrong people on the bus that ultimately don't help your organization or help your team get to where it needs to go, that are hindering you from being successful, from, from producing fruit, from being as strong as you could possibly be as a team, as an organization, and as a company. And I would challenge you to consider those things today in your leadership, challenge you to consider how you're relating to others and who you're allowing to relate to you, and challenge you to consider you know, raising up the bar for your own life personally in your routines, and your behaviors, and your activities, and even in your thoughts. Raising up, this concept of raising up, helps to strengthen us, it helps us to produce more fruit, and it ultimately helps us to have a much longer term view, a long view of the investment that we can make in ourselves, and in our relationships, and in our teams, in our leadership, to produce more and to produce better.